film has wrecked me. This film has made me think things that I have never had to think before. A Clockwork Orange by Stanley Kubrick is probably one of the greatest triumphs in cinematic history. It's on my list of films that have inspired me, have intrigued me, but have also ruined my life. My name is Alex Fielding. I'm 16 years old. Not many people can tell from looking at me, which has been a big, big setback for me. I've dropped out of school as well, because how is anyone able to concentrate on homework or a social life when there's so many cinematic efforts to see? I've had to keep myself occupied, so I bought some pills to keep me from being able to miss anything. After I take the pills, I usually just lay down and think about something that keeps me happy. The only thing I can ever really think of is pain. There's just something amazing about pain that is just an awesome thing to hear and see. It's Lizzie. Oh. Hey, Lizzie. I just wanted to talk, seeing as I haven't seen you in ages. How have you been, man? Oh, pretty good. Yeah. We just went camping in the bush for a few days. Is there anything going on at school that I should know about? I wouldn't know. I dropped out, remember? Oh, yeah. Family issues and that, right? <sighs> yeah, that's right. So what have you been doing with your time then? Um, not a whole lot. I've really gotten into the film called A Clockwork Orange. Oh yeah, I've heard of that film. It's really controversial, right? Yeah, but it's, it's one of the best films of all time. <laughs> yeah. What's so funny? Nothing, it's just you can't have seen one film and then call it the greatest film in cinema history. Well, yes I can. It is. It's a brilliant film. You need to open up your viewing circle. Alright. Well, what film do you know that's better than A Clockwork Orange? Have you seen Requiem for a Dream? Actually, no I haven't. Now that film is what I call a cinematic triumph. I guess I should check it out. Alright, you do that. But be careful, this is pretty graphic. Alright then, see you around. See you dude! Just like that, my eyes were opened once again. Not only had my life been taken over by Stanley Kubrick, but now my life is taken over by Darren Aronofsky. I soon found myself up late every night and only getting a few hours of sleep. Well, I wasn't sleeping much before, but now it was becoming what most doctors would call serious. It wasn't all the time, but a lot of the time I would find myself taking more of those pills. Not only was I more awake, but I was also more focused, which helped from watching Clockwork Orange and Requiem. 
People started to become more worried about me, and it wasn't long until some of my friends became interested. Look, I'm not saying I'm not concerned about him. I'm just saying, whether he's doing this or not, he is a bit weird. He's our friend, Gary. We should be there to help him. Well, why aren't you here, then? Because rock beats scissors. Look, rock, paper, scissors is no way to settle who has to go see our friend in a time of distress. And Hunter Ninja Bear is? Yes, and I totally won that. Whatever, man. Just go in there and find out what's going on with Alex. I'll call you back later. Alright, see you, man. Can you spare some cutter, me brother? Hey, buddy. How you doing? Oh, yeah, hey. There's, uh, this that film you were talking about? Oh. Yeah, I think so. When, when did I tell you about it? Um... Uh, two months ago, actually. Oh. Yeah, and uh, I know this because that's how long you haven't been at school. Oh, yeah. I've been busy. Doing what? You know, family things. This is family things? Well, they're, they're not happening right now, you know? I'm just taking a break. What are these? They're not. Please, 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 please. Oh, no, they're not. Are these pills? No, that just come back. Dude. I know these. These are the kind that help you stay awake. What why on earth have you been taking these? Just, it's so I can keep watching the movies, you know? You can't just fall asleep in the middle of one. Yeah, I guess that makes sense if you're a fucking idiot. Don't you realize, like, if you take too many of those, it will kill you. But I'm not being killed yet. I'm not being ridiculously stupid with them. Look, from the looks of it, all you've been using them for is to watch films. And not even that many films. I can only see two cases lying out. You don't understand. Th these films are my life. No, they're not, Alex. They're just films. And you need to get that through that thick head of yours and stop being so fucking stupid. There are only so many things that a human can do before they go insane. And right now, you're being the biggest moron I've ever seen. Look, I'm sorry for yelling. I just had to get my point across. Well, actually, it's good that you did yell. Because, like, it opened my eyes, kind of. That's good. I'm glad, you know. Thank you. No problem, man. Actually, I've got an idea. How about... It's pretty clear outside right now. How about we go sit by my pool? Yeah, sure. Cool. Awesome. <sighs> no! Sorry, sorry, I just... I really like that book. I know. Um, how about we go like check if the pool's warm enough? You wanna go? Yeah, yeah, sure.
mama I'm ready for love Let the storm clouds chase Everyone from the place Come on with the rain I have a smile on my face I walk down the with a happy refrain Just singing, singing in the rain Dancing in the rain Come in. Hey, man. Hey. It's been a while. It really has. What are you doing here? Well, I just came to see you. You haven't been at school for a few days. And, um, you know, from what I heard, you haven't talked to anyone. I've talked to Lizzie and Gary. Are they the only people you've talked to? Or so. Look, I know school was tough for you, and the fact that you were bullied every day wasn't fair. But, was it necessary to drop out of school when you could have gotten someone to help you? I'd rather die in the comfort of my own home than die out in the playground being punched to death by some shithead with nose rings. Look, but if you told someone about it, they could help you. I don't need help! I, I just need to be by myself for a while. And this is what you've been doing? Watching nothing but... Films just to escape the reality of your so-called life? I'm watching them because they're good films. That may be true, but is taking medication about it serious? What's that? Oh, I saw it on the way in. Look, man, it's not too late. We can get you help, and then you can come back to school and everything will be fine. And you have friends that care about you. You know that, right? I guess so. Thanks, man. It's been a couple days. Ah! Ah! Why? I don't know, it's kind of fun. Ah! Man! Come on! I didn't do anything! Ah! 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 Ah!
Okay. So. This is me and my partner Alex's project. We've been studying this book, 1984, by George Orwell. So this video is basically just a summary of that book. Okay then. It's about this future that is not good. And everybody is watched by Big Brother. Not really. I really like that show. It's just something about it. Anyway, sidetracked, moving on. Yes. Okay. So, he meets this girl and... Alex. Are you listening? I said... Are you listening? I'm... I'm listening. Good. Because... If you don't start listening... It will just come back to bite you in the arse. What are you talking about? Look, Alex, I hope you understand the gravity of your situation. What are you, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? You better stop taking those pills. It's just going to affect you badly. You can't tell me what to do. You're just a video. You're not real. Maybe not, but I can. You're not Oh, Alex, you stupid fuck! Why'd you fucking do this? I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Why'd you drown me? You tried to drown me! That's it. Are you sorry? I'm sorry! No, you're not! Sorry. You're not sorry! Sorry! Stop taking those pills! Do you hear me? I, I hear you. Do you hear me? Stop! Stop taking those pills! Hey Alex, it's uh, <clears throat> it's Charlie here. Just, I figured this was the only way I could actually get to you at this point. Um, you haven't, you haven't been at school for the past three days. The teachers haven't told us why, but you know, I'm very concerned about you. So, if you get this message, then just please let me know who, where you are. I need to hear from you, man. And just like that, I had my eyes widened to an extent that was so extreme that it was hard to handle. I broke down and started to realize that I was probably never going to change. Maybe this is how it was meant to be. Maybe I was meant to screw up so badly I couldn't fix it. All I could do now was cry and wait for my life to be 